Hey, hey. Jen Crevasse from Jekyll Bates. It's that time again, time for your Tuesday update from the workshop here at Jekyll Bates. And uh, we've got a few pieces to show you this evening. Tonight we're listening to a band called The Shelters. Love bringing you guys new tunes. This is off of their EP. It's a two song EP. This one is called The Ghost Is Gone. One of the neat things about this is it kind of kind of mixes a psycho pop surf Americana with the doors. So you can definitely hear a lot of Jim Morrison in his voice. They're a band out of California, which explains the surf vibe that you get. So uh, check them out. They're called The Shelters. Good tunes. All right. So got a few to show you today. First up, let's go with this chili pepper craw. And a man's baby one minus. Ah, with some dog hair. It happens, sorry. Yeah, that's totally a Jim Morrison voice. Um, next up we have a Vision 110. It's a knockoff. It's not the actual, uh, but it's a blank that's made from the mold of the Vision 110. Um, don't have a, a name for this particular color and pattern, but it's a great pencil minnow. It's got a lot of color to it. Very natural. Match the hatch. Um, looks bruised or bleeding. Very cool. Here comes that psycho pop. This is the ice pick. Black eyes, black nose. It's a Maui blue with a silver white splatter back in a crawl pattern. A little knock to it. And we've got the blue bayou perch. We got these in a 2.5 and a 1.5. Solid white belly, a kind of a fade up in blue, and a little blue-green on the cheeks with yellow and black eyes. Black-backed with a lot of glitter and pearlescence on the top. Next up, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite new patterns. Really sweet crawl pattern, all hand-cut stencil. love the eyes on that. It's probably one of my favorite craws. Brand new pattern. And last but certainly not least, we have a winter to spring bluegill pattern. Got the bright orange belly and the splatter back. Please excuse the paint on my hands and under my nails. I apologize for that. You can see a very light hint of the striping down the sides that you would naturally see this time of year. It's a very washed out pattern, which you would typically find in the winter moving into the spring. They haven't really regained their color from all the cold water. And let's move over to the workbench. pieces I want to show you over here tonight. I'm going to move over to the light here. Another craw. We're doing lots of craws. Winter and spring I usually hit the craws real hard. Really good sellers. And this is in that Spro Little John MD 50. The angry eyes. Back over to the bench. I've got two more crawl. Actually, I'm going to do one more crawl pattern because this one right here, it's just a little bit darker than the one that I showed you on the uh, finishing table. But we also have a spring crawl. 
This is a really good Ozark craw. It's got the greens and blues, a little bit of fade. Just a hint of orange on the back on the tip, and it is translucent. So that's the, uh, the long and short of it at Jekyll Bates on your Tuesday evening. Actually, you know what? I keep saying it's Tuesday, it's Monday. And the reason, I normally do these on Tuesday, but the reason that I'm doing it tonight is that I'm fishing tomorrow. Um, I'll do a couple more. Now these are special orders that I'm working on for a customer. If you guys can see these, these are pre rapala wiggle warts that a customer has asked me to do repaints on. And they're still drying, so I'm not gonna move them very much. But just so you can see what's going on there. Very tacky. And then this is a similar crawl pattern in a Bandit 200. I apologize for it being a little bit dark for you. And that's it, y'all. Thanks for hanging out on Tuesday. Don't forget, check out the shelters. Good new band. Good music. Y'all take care of each other.